Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today on A Glimpse Inside, I would like to have a small conversation with you about inspiration. Now, inspiration can come from many sources. Uh, a lot of times on this platform, if you are one of the members of my audience, uh, you know it comes from other creators, other content creators who are making things, they give you good ideas, they give you different techniques. It's a really, really awesome community. So I'd like to give back. Uh, but, but first, let me tell you a brief, and I mean brief, this will maybe take about a minute a brief history on why I'm even on this platform. So I didn't learn that YouTube was a subscription service till about two and a half years ago. Uh, I happened to get rid of cable, kind of downsize a little bit, realized that you could just watch videos on YouTube. And the first maker video I saw was a gentleman who was making a wooden tool chest, happened to be a DeWalt tool chest, and the guy looked really familiar. And I thought I recognized him from TV shows in the past. Um, turned out that it was Jimmy DeResta. Now I'm gonna link Jimmy down below. Uh, to pay him respect and of course because I'm mentioning him here but if you don't know Jimmy and you know me then shame on you but either way I'm linking him down below but I want to do something subtle to in every video I make from now on to kind of give back to the community and to let you guys know of someone who I'm inspired by and how I'm gonna do that is one of these this is one of these felt kind of push pin boards message boards it comes with a bunch of these bunch of letters and numbers and of course in this video, I'm gonna make a French cleat holder for it and maybe a container to hold all the letters and numbers, a quick build video as well. But it's gonna be mounted on the French cleat wall somewhere. And throughout the process of me filming, you will see my inspiration or the person or the people that are inspiring me this week. So just to pay back and to give homage or pay homage to the community, I'm gonna do this subtle call out every week and I hope you guys take notice guys anyway thanks for listening to my story let's get into this build video and I definitely appreciate you being here let's go well like I said before I got a small build video here and right now I'm taking some quarter inch plywood and I'm gonna make a small box that's gonna encase all those different letters and numbers and nothing fancy we're gonna attach this with CA glue and some activator and I'm just kind of following my nose here building this container as I see fit Using my crosscut sled to cut out some strips, and then I'm gonna take those strips and cut them back onto the sled, moving the stop block over just a little bit, and I'm gonna cut a bunch of rectangles or small pieces that are then gonna be put inside this container to be dividers for all the different letters and numbers. After a quick sanding to break all the edges, it's now time to go ahead and start building this out. I am going for no particular pattern here whatsoever. There is no math involved, there is no measuring involved. I'm just putting this down as I see fit. And also, I want to tell you guys something. I've been kind of deemed the plywood guy in my audience, in my comment section sometimes, and there's a reason for that. And I've got a video coming out here in the next few weeks about why it is I use Baltic Birch plywood so much and why I think it is the absolute ultimate material in that this community and this craft is so much better for it. And I have a video coming out where I'm going to show the versatility of it. Just wait for that. Well, after what felt like an eternity, all those letters and numbers finally found their place into that tray, and I couldn't be more pleased that I was finished with that process. Now, on to placing this prefabricated message board onto a piece of Baltic birch. Yes, no other than Baltic birch. We're going to go ahead and hand chamfer the ends with a power tool. Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope so. Either way, this is going to soften the edges, and it's going to create kind of a nice aesthetic while it goes onto the wall. And to attach this, I'm simply giving it a light sanding with some of these foam hand sanding pads made by Festool. They are not very expensive, contrary to what you might think, and they come in super handy around the shop. All right, now, I'm gonna attach it with brads, no glue. This is not gonna be a hugely permanent structure. And now it's time to add the French cleat as well. Now, to be clear, this is not a comprehensive French cleat build video. I have plenty of videos that I'm going to link down below where I do a much more detailed, in-depth instruction on how to make this system. So, if you haven't seen those and you want to check them out, they're going to be linked below as well. So, as I wrap this project up, I do apologize that it's not a 100% build video. However, I do hope you got some value out of this. And also, tell me what you think of this idea. I'm going to call this thing the Maker Board, and I can't wait to share with you who's been inspiring me over the past few weeks, months, and years. And of course, Jimmy, thank you again for the inspiration to really start this channel. And as I've gotten to know you over the past 18 to 24 months, you've been so gracious with your time, and I very much appreciate everything. Thank you, brother.
Well, there you go, guys. Very simple project this week. And I want to know what you think of this idea. Is it something that is going to add value to these videos that you're going to watch? Are you going to use this? Are you going to actually go and search for these guys and gals that I'm going to feature on this board? I definitely want to know in the comments below. Jimmy, as for you, man, thank you so much. I really do appreciate the inspiration. And not only that, you know, I've met you quite a few times now. And you've always been so warm and inviting. And definitely, man, I would consider you a friend. And you are the first one to make it on this maker board. Thanks again, guys. I definitely appreciate your viewership as well. Thanks again. I'm always going to invite you to subscribe and watch a few more videos or maybe vice versa. Who knows? Anyway, thank you so much again, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. You know what's crazy is that this ice pick made by Jimmy works surprisingly well to actually take these off. <laughs> so on to the next one. Jimmy, no disrespect. Thanks again, guys. <laughs>